How's it going? And ever since we got the trailer for Nintendo Switch Sports, there's been a lot of controversy about the new character models they're using in the game, and there seems to be a few categories people fall into when talking about this topic. So you have the people who don't realise that you can actually play as your me in the game, and really hate the new character model, and then there's another group of people who are trying to tell everyone that you can actually play as your me in the game because they showed it outside of the main trailer in the Nintendo Direct. There was like extra footage where they showed off playing as your Miis, and then you also have others complaining about how even though you can play as your me, they want all the other sports players to be Miis as well, instead of these weird looking lifeless characters. So yeah, there's a lot of conflict going on about the Nintendo Switch sports models. But yeah, some people don't know they did show you can play as your Miis. But if you take a good look at these Miis, there is something off about them. As if you've played any of the old Wii games where you get to play as your Miis, these characters do not look the same. And it's sort of unsettling how they just look a bit weird compared to the old character models. Also, if you happen to enjoy this video, make sure to leave a like to let me know you're enjoying this type of content. And if you're new here, consider subscribing as well. But anyway, I'll begin the video now. So yeah, the classic me style was just a simple character with a coloured shirt and a big head with some trousers which seemed to be connected to their shoes as well. And this is what most of us would have grown up with if you played the Wii, or even the Wii U and the 3DS. And you can also see when playing Wii sports games, the Miis didn't even have arms, they just had blobs for hands which would carry whatever they needed to hold for the sport they were playing. So here's Matt holding a tennis racket with a spherical hand. And what I really liked about these characters was how simple they were, but still managing to convey emotions with a few different facial expressions. And you could always tell if they were happy or angry or sad or neutral, whatever they were feeling. And even though they look far from realistic, it kind of made them much more lovable, because why would you want to play as a real looking person in a video game? So already if you come over and look at the Miis in Nintendo Switch Sport, there is a lot of things wrong with them, as they seem to have just taken the body model from the other characters in Nintendo Switch Sports and shoved a Miis head on top of it, and it looks so unnatural natural like first of all they have very human shaped bodies they're no longer like a funny proportion with a short body and a big head and they actually have a weird standing animation with their knees and arms bent and they're in a proper stance and it just looks too lifelike they just have a simple face on their head within a weird more realistic body animation and to me it just really doesn't feel right another thing you can see is these me's now have fingers they no longer have a blob and no arms they have actual human hands while still having just pencil lines for their facial expressions and none of it fits together and even though the Miis looked so weird compared to humans in real life. It was a much nicer cute character style than having the Miis heads on these weird body models. They're also not just wearing a simple coloured shirt with a pair of trousers, instead they have a proper outfit with really detailed clothing, like their jacket has a zip on it and patterns over it, as well as their shorts having different coloured parts. And then you can even see their legs, which I don't like, I don't know why, everything just feels off. And these guys have proper trainers instead of their spray on shoes, and you can even see they're wearing socks. This is not how Miis are supposed to look like. What has Nintendo done? to them, but I still prefer these character models to the actual Nintendo Switch sports characters, because look at this guy with his fresh fade, and he just looks like he has no soul, he's just staring into the distance with a blank smile on his face. I feel like this is even more off-putting than just putting a Miis head onto the body of these characters, so yeah, I definitely get where people are coming from who are upset about not being able to play against Miis, but even with the Miis in the game, I'm not too sure I'm liking them. I don't want to do this to my poor me, I don't want to put him in this weird state of half lifelike and half cute cartoonish me looking character. I feel like Nintendo needs to do something to fix these. Like how for the Sonic movie, the animators actually remade his whole design which was so cool. If Nintendo did that, I feel like they'd get so much praise and love from the fan base. They just gotta make these characters shorter and stubbier, so they look a bit more like Animal Crossing characters even. Those look way better than what they've done for Nintendo Switch Sports, so even if they don't want to use the meme model, they could at least do something more like Animal Crossing New Horizons, as I just way prefer playing as a cartoony character when the art style is like this. But yeah, those were my thoughts on why these characters can be so disturbing. I'd love to hear what you guys think about the new model for the Miis in this game, and whether you want it to go back to the simple Wii sports looking characters, where they literally had the plainest model you could have came up with, but it still manages to work, because sometimes adding too many details can just ruin something. <laughs> but I hope this video wasn't too negative, and it was at least somewhat entertaining. If you like this style of content, make sure to leave a like, and subscribe to the channel to let me know you enjoy it, so I can keep doing stuff like this in the future. I had a lot of fun coming up with this video, and I'm working on a lot of other ideas for videos to come out soon. But anyway, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.